can record with that camera, man. Oh, yeah. He's dead. I would like to go ahead and issue a formal apology. We haven't done it yet, so I have no idea what I'm going to say, but it's a Trap Talk podcast, so you never know what I'm going to say. This last weekend, we attended the Reptile Super Show in Anaheim, California, and for reasons I'll explain in this video, I owe everyone a formal apology. We'll take you there. Let's go. friends and family how you guys doing today i'll tell you how i'm doing i'm doing fantastic why am i doing so fantastic you ask well that's because i'm headed to the reptile super show Woo! let's go <laughs> ah, made it a lot of driving you guys see this little thing i put on my seat a little piece of plywood here it's uh my low back you watch the other video, it's not quite good yet, but sitting on this piece of plywood has really helped with it. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, you guys are done here about my back. We're at the show, I'm gonna go set up, and then it actually starts tomorrow. So let's just skip all that and let's go. What's up, brother? Reptile Media! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta be careful leaving my camera just sitting on a random table back there and get this thing stolen. Wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? All right, we're all set up. Ready to rock. Matt, you ready? Huh? Sushi time? That means he's ready. Right, as much as I'm not really a fan of being in LA, the traffic and all that, you gotta admit, they got some nice looking skies. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I got a question for you, Vanessa. <laughs> See, there, there it is right there. Vanessa Costanzo, ladies and gentlemen, probably the number one volunteer for US Arc, number one US Arc volunteer. And every time I take my camera out to talk to her about stuff, she tries to run away and hide. I do, I, I hide. And then I go and I see you like showing up on these random podcasts for like hours with your face, <laughs> just like no hiding, just I'm here, Vanessa. And I mean, what is it? Is it because of those podcasts like don't get nearly as many views and you're not worried about it as much because there's not as many people watching? What is it? Why are you running? Now, now you're standing here. That now was my stand. third podcast, okay. the one that you jumped on, third. Okay. I'm getting better, I'm right. getting better. Good, good. Just Good, yeah, good. I'm getting better. Good, she's getting better. You've got me on camera before. I know, but, but it's always I, I been a like battle. I was like circled all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> working on it, working on good, it. Good, good. All right, let's start this show for real. Would you like to pay $5 to donate the money goes to Uzark and uh, your sticker goes on the board and we're donating to Uzark for tonight's auction. The money goes to Uzark and the board goes donate, donating to them. I'm here with Mario at Chameleon House. Got some beautiful chameleons over here. So Mario, I was watching a video on YouTube the other day and it had like different lifespans of different animals and anything from, you know, an ant to like a blue whale. And I, I want to say it was panther, but they were claiming it was like a one year lifespan for chameleon. Is there any species that's that um, short? I know the carpet chameleons, the smaller ones, live uh, two years. So there may be some other smaller ones that are even less than that. Even less than that? Okay. I just make sure. It was just like a random video. It had all kinds of animals. Did, yeah. you know, every now and then you watch a video and like they have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to reptiles. <laughs> so. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, you bet. Oh, yes. My name's Matt Bernard and I specialize in hog nose snakes. Put a little more energy in that. More man. energy? <laughs> yeah, oh my good goodness. Yeah, like, see, that's that's what I want right there. All right, like, you, you your want, personality. You want, you want full bore. All right, here we go. Can you just introduce yourself and tell me what you specialize in? My name is Brian Cusco and I specialize in being awesome. Okay, I like that energy. That was energy right there. My light's right here, Matt. My light's right here if you need me. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> His light so keeps going out. <laughs> ben, Benny was talking about how you know it's harder for him to do interviews with somebody like me, and then he was like, Matt's just a little more dim, and his light started going out. <laughs> so bad. Uh, this is terrible. I think it's Benny, what did you do to me? Is it a setting? What is no, it? No, it's not a setting. It's just it being cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bottle of oh, whiskey that I'm donating to US Ark, and I've left it in the hotel room, so I ran back there in jeans, and it's hot outside. And now my shirt, my Reptile Super Show shirt, is all sweaty. And I know it's really... I know it's really sweaty and sneaky because I hugged this guy and he said that I stunk. And if this guy thinks I stink, 
Let the record show that I stunk more than Brian, but now Brian's stink has masked my stink. <laughs> Look at my camera bag. <laughs> Look at this gorilla marketing. Somebody came by and put this on my table. Sophie's Snack Shack. Come by for Snack stuff shack. and things. <laughs> <laughs> gorilla marketing, right there on my table. I'll leave it, I'll leave it there. Why not? <laughs> we can find some snacks. <laughs> We take ourselves very seriously. I can tell. Here at Ball Dazzled in Serpent Valley, we want to take a look at their favorite animal at their booth. Should we give it the black backdrop there? Sure. Double recessive. Um, it has the recessive genetics of a xanthic and as well pied. So each parent had both the genetics as xanthic and pied. Thank you very I much. tried. Yeah, okay, you did great. I, I didn't know what to say. You did so. great. You did okay. great. I like your outfit. Thank you. No, I know it's on. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Always free samples here at Timberline. Free crickets, free feeders. They do it every show that they go to. Happy birthday, brother. Hey, thanks, bro. Wish your mom a happy birthday for me tomorrow. I will. I will. Please. Sharon laying over Dark Frog Connect. Sharon laying over Dark Frog Connect. Let's go check out his favorite frog on the table. Oof, calling me out like that, huh? <laughs> so these are gold dust terribilis. So these are uh, a species of dark frog from Columbia. It's Phyllobates terribilis. These are actually in the wild. These are the most toxic vertebrate animal in captivity. Obviously, they're not toxic anymore. Right. Because but, of their diet is what makes Correct, them. yeah. So this is the heaviest dark frog, not the longest in length, but one of the largest, they consume crickets and fruit flies and whole nine yards. Really healthy big frogs. I watch your YouTube all the time. Oh, thanks, nice man. Nice to meet you. You too, bro. Yep, all the What's time. What's your name? Martin. <laughs> We're here with Todd from Unbelievables. Great company, one of the best. And he's gonna show us his favorite animal on the table. Todd. Uh, this uh, super orange dream puzzle. Pretty fun little animal. Two egg clutch from a head to head. Different clutch, obviously. Uh, Firefly NG puzzle. How are we doing today? Good, how you doing, bro? Doing fabulous. Would you mind showing me your favorite snake on the table? My favorite snake on the table, come right this way. Phoenix Nicaraguan T positive bloods right here. Check these out. This is a locality, this is a Nicaraguan T positive blood from Central America. And this is pretty much what you get when you mix albino and blood together. You get this right here. This is a great idea right here. Just like uh, Antoine and over High Desert and uh, my buddy uh, Troy and, and all those guys setting up in, in Redwood, setting up and doing like a group booth where you get some friends together and get a whole huge end cap. And we got Matt Byram Exotics, Insane Clown Ball Pythons, and what's up, bro? What's good? Oh, what, 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 this isn't Canada. What are you doing here? <laughs> Lord of Lion, ladies and gentlemen, looking like a champion. Look at that. What's up? Yeah, bro. Yeah, we Dude, nice away. work, man. I'm proud of you, dude. No, it's good seeing you. Yeah, you too, man. They're awesome. How you doing, man? Good, good. Good to see you, bro. I see you too. So, so did you inspire him to start doing this type of stuff? What's going on? He, he did it on his own. I just, okay. I just started working out because of him. Okay. I'm like, yo, he can't be the only fit one. It's <laughs> good, man. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good, man. How you doing? Good to see you. You too, man. All right, we're here with Insane Clown Python. He's going to check out his favorite snake on the table. The spot knows Desert Ghost Clown. Spot knows Desert Ghost Clown. Yeah, dude. Insane production. Say something nice for the people. Hey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> That's what I usually say first, and then I edit it out. <laughs> hey, I'm CJ with 310 Exotic Grip House, and I love my guy, Brian. He, he, he. He's the one who helped me start breeding and, and gave me the passion that I got right now. And y'all keep going and, and just do whatever that you love. I got monitors and everything and it's just the best thing that I can do. I, I love reptiles, I love keeping reptiles. That's, that's all I can say. Hey, up, how's man? it going, man? Good, 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 good. What's up, bro? <laughs> Not much. Oh, thank you. Hi. Sure. Um, How about, uh, let's do this, this dark blue right there. The what? The fox body so far. Black. Ben? I'm from 
um, Gecko Gecko Z. Z. Yeah. Little Origami Fox from Bennett, Geckos, etc. Come check them out at the show. Good doing business with you, brother. Good doing business with you. Mind if I film your snake? Oh, yeah, no, go ahead. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, my name is Renee and I like to draw reptiles. Uh, my Instagram is Renee's Artery. Um, I also have that for the auction tonight. That's nice. Thank you. That's nice. You have nice work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antoine, High Desert Pythons. I actually brought your shirt. We were going to do a remake of the slap boxing match that he posted on Instagram, but he doesn't want to take his shirt off of me. Yeah, so I, I, I popped out. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Byram Exotics, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see your favorite snake on the table, Matt. On what table? Your table. Oh, they're leopard your... DG clowns. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Well, Two usually... females, babe. Batman. Leopard. They're not. They're not Batman. Oh, they're not? No. I thought they were originally, but they're, I don't think they got spot nose in them. Oh, okay. So leopard. Yeah, I think they're leopard. This one could be Batman. Dude, yeah, look at this. Look at the head. Yeah, I mean. This one more likely than this Yeah, I don't think this one is, but I think this one might be. But, I mean, who cares? They're just beautiful. Come on now. What's your favorite snake on the table? My favorite snake on the table. Got to be this one right here. So, leopard hypo puzzle. And... This is the third one I've made, but none of them have the oranges like this one has. I mean, this thing turned out really, really weird. Cool, man. Yeah, dude, I, I, I don't know if the camera's picking up like the wicked amount of different colors that are going on in the snake, but this thing stopped me in my tracks. Yeah, I've tried to show up pictures on IG, but nothing nothing compares to seeing it in person. Hypo's like that. Yeah, it really is. I'm sure some of you guys are like, oh, just so many ball pythons. I like ball pythons. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sure you want to see a lot of other species. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do that too. No, 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 no. What's up? I'm Pandas Fauna. Uh, this is an Apodora that we have here at the show. Nice big male. Super pretty. Come check them out. Yeah, there he is. Showing. Hello. Perfect. Uh, this is Gastropholus prasina, green killed belly lizard. These guys are like little tiny mini monitors. They like it really hot. They breed really well. Super pretty. They eat a lot of food, man. And they have really cool attitudes. Uh, when these guys go into a threat display posture, they'll basically posture up with their hind legs and they'll stick out their tongue and they flick it out. So it's pretty cool. These guys are captive bred and born and very fast. Pandas fauna, ladies and gentlemen, check them out. I produced this one, she's um, probably like a year and a half old, roughly. Big fan. I've been watching since I was a kid, like like 14, maybe? I'm 19. Nice, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Um, these are Mexican beta lizards. They're found like um, down like the Pacific coast of Mexico. This is the exasperatum, um, Heloderma exasperatum. Uh, the, they come in um, four different subspecies, and then there's also like the Gila monster. Um, there's two subspecies of those ones. The super blacks are like the Hordum, uh, the Hordum ones, and then there's Alvarezi, which are the solid black ones, um, and then Charles Bogardi, which you can't really get. Um, it's only like a zoo, zoo kind of deal where, where you can get get a Charles Bogardi. And you produce this guy? Yes, February 2022. So this is called a nosy bee panther chameleon. So this is what you call a, a true nosy bee from what I've been told. But this guy, he turns solid blue. He gets like a little bit of the purples on the side. And they're my personal favorites because my first favorite color is blue. But these guys are really cool. They're kind of personable chameleons. These guys come from Madagascar. So these are really cool species. They get bigger than this. So this is like an eight month old uh, chameleon. Some of these sculptures I have here too that I, I based off of real animals. 
Oh, yeah. These are hand-made uh, sculptures that I built. I have always been doing art, so this is a dragon sculpture I call the Knife Head. But the color scheme, I based it off of an Eastern collar wizard, which we have right over there. And um, and over here, this is a obviously, I'm sure you guys could probably guess, this is a black dragon. <laughs> Based off of the, the obviously my favorite lizard and my basically my my logo, the black dragon. So trying to represent my very first time here at the at the expo or no but vending for the first time. So it's mezzo creatures. <laughs> so yeah. Thank but, you, uh, yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, man. Thank yeah. you. And you saw it. You just become a member? He's already a member. Oh, okay. <laughs> US ARC membership. Sign up for your US ARC membership. Don't forget. You were giving away one US ARC membership on our live streams every week. I don't know if you knew that, but we're doing it. <laughs> this was born for blue bearers, but this type's got the blue gray with the blue. They, they can get large, a little bit. From my experience, a little bit stouter than the typical bearers. We don't have any like that. I really yeah. like this form. You, know, you can see though, yeah. it's like totally eccentric because it doesn't have any yellow at all. Different than your usual, like the sky blue type bearers. Philippe de Vaugelay, ladies and gentlemen, only at the Reptile Super Show. So two triples, two exanthic clowns, a pied, an exanthic, and a normal. And the normal look green. Wow. I don't want to really film the same thing you're filming. Good. Okay, so what do you got there? <laughs> we got the uh, pastel exanthic clown pied. Wow. Still trying to figure this out. Comes from a visual pied. It's got like a lot of white going on here. But we're kind of thinking maybe this just might be a glorified ringer um, because it's fire, special, yellow bed, yellow belly pastel okay so i don't know if it's i mean i've tried to find other ones that have this kind of real broken up hieroglyphic pattern and i don't know like uh, i haven't seen too many like it so kind of fun to be trying to figure out what i got here comment down below if you think you know what's going on there <laughs> i was filming the snake live here at the show on the Trap Talk Podcast. Yay! I've we haven't done it yet, so I have no idea what I'm going to say, but it's a Trap Talk Podcast, so you never know what I'm going to say. So, so link down in the description, go check it out. I started here. I started here. <laughs> I started here, too. <laughs> Reptile Super Show. <laughs> Dude, and it, I, I just love the, the redness they start with. Yeah. I love how, like, calm and confident they are, even as a juvenile. Super chill. Yeah, they're super chill. It's like if a carpet python realized that you weren't actually going to kill it and you didn't need to convince it of that, you know? Like a, KG! Like Bolin's like python, bull. fresh. That thing's crazy. Bomb Projects, check them out, link in the description. Thank you, sir. Beard! Right? Mm -hmm. Has it gotten longer since you last saw it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. About or that. maybe it's gotten more majestic. Majestic for sure. That's what more it is. Majestic, yeah, you've saying. definitely gotten more majestic since I last saw you. Now, I don't know how I got so lucky, but I, my, my friend here always seems to, oh, why am I on 120p? I didn't know what I did to get so lucky to have this guy always bring his shingle back to by my table, but, but he's here. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but uh, you're kind of a butthead. <laughs> that was that was lame. I'll I'll show myself off. <laughs> I would like to go ahead and issue a formal apology to anyone who came up to me and gave me a hug today. Because I smell real bad about now. I'm going to go take a shower uh, and we're going to go to this US Arc auction. See you guys there. Cold shower! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ah, ah, ah. Oh, so refreshing now. I need a hundred bucks on this right here. I got a hundred right there. I got two hundred. Five? I got five from Pied is Live. Five hundred. I need six hundred. Vanessa got me my own table, but she, she stole John Feely's thumbnail to use on the thing. She put ice cream on it, but it's John's thumbnail. Thanks, John. Ooh, I also smell a lot better now, but um, I am going to recant and retract my apology for the stinky hugs because after Megan, 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 Megan came over and hugged me right after I made that apology with a... She had been, having been freshly sprayed by her anaconda musk and immediately I smelled worse than I had all day. Ah!